Hey there, this is Moritz with the Hackaday Prize semi-finals video of the Hovel A2. And since there are already many videos of how it looks like and interactive applications and visuals and all kinds of stuff, I thought uh, today I will just show you what's inside of it and how it works and all the cables. Yeah, so these are the five prototypes that I've built until now and it's really early stage prototypes. I still have no idea what I'm actually doing there and I have to do lots of testing, testing components, testing flow former geometries and trying out the brightness boosters that somebody from the space suggested and yeah, all kinds of stuff. This is the power supply um, and even though it looks quite nice, Inside of it is hell. There are actually many different power supplies in there. It's four 36 volt AC power supplies. Um, yeah, transformers basically. And one normal computer power supply for providing 12 volt to the fans. And it has this uh, invertible power connector. So you can plug it in either way and it will work and it won't fry your atomizers. It won't fry your fans. Um, so it's completely reverse polarity safe. So inside of every Hovelay module there is one of those vats. They are usually filled with water and in the vat there is one of those atomizers. Those are really powerful units usually intended for garden outdoor use. I think people put it in their ponds or something for making it look very creepy. I don't know. But um, it's just the right type of atomizer that you want to use for this kind of project. Before this, I have used uh, those atomizers. Those are cheapo Hong Kong AliExpress uh, atomizers, like I think 250 each. And um, they work, they create ridiculous amounts of fog, but not for very long. They will burn out within the first 10 hours or something. And some even fail on first power up. Yeah, this is the housing of the Hovelay and it's probably the most important part because it will determine how the final result will look like. It will determine how the air flows through the device and how the fog layer will build up above the Hovelay. Um, I try to keep this as simple as possible in structure and it's now eight CNC machine parts um, and therefore it's quite easy to build easy to machine in less than two hours and um, I think you can put it together in like one hour or something. It's not that complex. Yeah, but even though it's uh, still a prototype, um, it's already functional, it works. And um, yeah, we're already writing applications for it, uh, trying different ways of interactivity. And since it's uh, really open to all kinds of devices that you hook up to the projector and you can basically put any content of it, it's uh, a nice toy for Makerspace. Yeah, so the question is where is this going and how is the Hovelay 3 going to look like? And the answer is that since the flow formers and other important parts of the design are already 3D printed, um, there is actually no reason why the whole design cannot be 3D printed in one or two pieces. So this is why the Hovelay is currently going through a very difficult phase of redesigning and translating the current design into a fully parameterized OpenSCID file, where the new target is to get this um, 3D printable without too many overhangs, without too many support structures, so that eventually somebody can just download the model, print it out on a regular sized printer and get a Hovelay for the cost of a few meters of filament and some electronic components. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some useful information about the project. If you want to know more about the project, make sure you visit the Hackaday IO page, my personal blog, and if you want to even build one, then you should also clone the GitHub repository because it contains all the printable files, all the laser cutter files, and everything you need to build your own Hovelay. Thank you for watching and yeah, see you in the future.